All right, guys, so we're back. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but the servers did end up going down. The only reason I know they went down was because when I tried to re-log back in immediately, it said that 150-some people, or I was, like, position 150-some. So, that's how I know. But, in any event, we are back and ready to continue on our mission up the staircase to the next area. Uh, I probably should kill some more boars, but... Let's just go up here and talk to this person because nine times out of ten, uh, it's going to be a lot easier leveling up, discovering different areas. Oh, excuse me. And, uh, <clears throat> truffles, huh? Interesting. Well, let's do this short little side quest for this guy. Especially considering they're marked on the map. That's rather simplistic. Alright, truffles have been gathered. Are they both up here now? Interesting. We do run quite slow. And the auto run is definitely... I mean, the, the run in the game is definitely very slow, but at the same time, it's kind of just my uh, opinion that it's going to... That, that just is the rate you walk. Assuming you get a mount at some point in time. If not, it is what it is. But yeah, excited to see how this game ends up playing out, man. Or how it ends up uh, going for me. I, um... I definitely would say in my older age, I have a lot more problems staying enticed with games now. It, it, it has to be a, a pretty good game for me to actually stay intrigued with it for longer than a certain period of time. So that is, that's probably one of my biggest hurdles when it comes to games of in and of themselves. I just definitely need the game to have certain aspects to it that if it doesn't have, I really, really quickly become un uh, enticed with it would be the best way to say that. And that's definitely not me saying that the games are bad or anything like that. It's just, you know, everybody has their own personal preferences. And for me, one of the games that I definitely can't, I can never see myself getting tired of it. I definitely need respites from it would be Ark. But that, again, is just kind of, it's just one of those games, man, that I really can't seem to get away from. Interesting. All right, let's go find whoever in the hell this person is we need to talk to. Level 60, huh? I wonder what the highest level is. I have a feeling 60 is probably... Uh, 60 seems to be the highest level.
As far as character level is concerned. Hello there. I'm Misha. Tell me, how are things outside? There was a storm and then shattered mountains started spewing corruption. It's bad, isn't it? Oh, fiddlesticks. I knew this would happen. It's all my fault. <laughs> I'm in a decades-long string of bad luck. Everything I touch turns to dung. And now this. Interesting. I'd call a town meeting, but I worry my misfortune is contagious. We need an expert on this corruption business. And someone to boost defenses. <sighs> it's overwhelming. These days? <laughs> I'd have no idea. Well, there was some old fool raving about corruption many years ago. If he's still around at all, you might look up in Monarch's Bluffs. But do help us here first. Normally I am, but that would be very unwise. In fact, you should go for your own sake. Share the report with Magistrate Clark. He'll know what to do. Hmm. Seems like I'm still on Tutorial Island. I'm assuming that's all the different factions from everything above everybody's head where you can see the little green or the purple or the yellow. A fine day to you, friend. I'm sure you saw the storm and the mountain, but let's keep our chins up. I expect a report from Watcher Reese any moment. Oh, that can't be good, can it? Mm. Yes, this confirms our suspicions. The corruption is indeed surging. I trust you're the person to whom Reese refers? Then you've already earned my respect. Interesting. Yep, already level 7. We must make preparations to secure the settlement. The corruption will come. It's just a question of when. First priority is safety. Both for the settlement and for you. You've done your duty for Everfall and I salute you for that. Perhaps, but I insist you check in at the inn first. Whether it's here or another settlement, every soldier needs a warm bed. Okay. Yep, it is definitely going to be a, hey, run around, talk to everybody, get yourself acquainted with what's going Welcome on. Welcome to the Autumn Rest. Always a colorful place to be. You're here to check in? Be my guest. Haha, <laughs> literally. Ah, respawn point. Ah, I hope you're feeling fully rested now, if you needed that. Even during hard times, it's important newcomers feel welcome. If you intend to enlist with another settlement, now is the time. We can certainly use your sword arm around here, however. If you wish to remain, you should get acquainted with our trading post. Check the storage space I've made available for you as well. You no, know, this place seems good as any, at least to figure out how everything works. Ah, that thing you were there where everybody's standing at. There now. I think you have the lay of the land. Hope you feel at home. I can't ask you to defend a place to which you have no loyalty. Back in the old world, I knew for certain that a score of valiant soldiers could defend against any threat. Those days are gone. Next priority is the arsenal. Surely Misha can handle the simple things. Why don't you ask her advice on acquiring materials for the forge? Perhaps she's willing to risk that much, at least. It's like a poster board over there. Magistrate Clark has everything under control. Or maybe it's but I hmm. should just stay here and mind my own business. 
It's safer for everyone that way. But I am curious. Did the Magistrate have any ideas? He needs to proceed very carefully. Has he set any priorities? Shit, fuck if I know, lady. I just got here. Forging new weapons? <laughs> what fun! I was quite a craftswoman once. Suppose I could help if you do the work. Yes! Get us some stone, healths, and wood as raw materials. Interesting. And wood. And stone. Alright, where are we at? Is it a shipwrecks? Okay. No little map in the corner, that's kind of odd. Although... I am not complaining. Okay. Seems like the best place is any. We gather some trees and stones and whatnot. So, uh, I can't remember how long it took me to do the gathering in the initial, um, run around, or the, the beta, but I feel like everything kind of takes longer right now than what it did it, during the beta. Not that it's a bad thing necessarily, it's just different. So, but again, don't take me, or don't, don't, uh completely believe that because I don't remember since it's been so long but at the same time we shall see what happens I'm assuming however as you continuously level up you probably will cut everything faster obviously I would have to imagine that's how that works What I need for Oh. Buy a house, huh? These definitely look different. At the wood shop? Oh, this is a workshop, excuse me. This is the wood shop. All right, back over to the lady, see what she says. And then we just kind of, you know, keep going. Get all this tutorial island bullshit done and then we will decide what we're doing.
whether I'm taking a break for a little bit or we just keep going. Go ahead, just get it over with. What happened? Nothing? From now on, anytime you like, visit me or the town board. You can take any tasks that suit your fancy. I've pushed my luck far enough for today. Take this stuff to the Artificer. She'll set you straight, all right. Go on. I'll be right here. See Artificer Petrowski. She'll take it from here. Interesting. I'm not sure if that was, uh, like the, hey, we're done, or that's like the, you know, one of the next stage. I am not sure. Interesting. So you're the newcomer Clark was talking about? Hmm. Don't see what there is to be. I understand you've been working with Misha. She is a unique leader, is she not? I would say this whole thing's a little unique. Very well. Kind of trying to decide whether here. or not we're still in uh, Zero Island or talent. not. Let's find out then, shall we? Here's a satchel of ore. Smelt it, and then try your hand at the forge. Fair enough. <laughs> Get a great axe too, just because I want one. Hmm. Let me see the stick of metal you've produced. Indeed, it appears to be satisfactory. 
for a novice. Hmm. You can take that blade, or anything else you forge, to the trading post. The Magistrate will make purchases for the arsenal. Before you stray too far, I suggest introducing yourself to Survivalist Lee. I call him Fancy Pants. You'll have to ask him why. Alright. Just learning who everybody is. Judging by this, it kind of seems like nobody really can see what the other people have done. Like, you can see all these houses are for sale, but you can't actually, like, see what other people have done to the houses. You can just decide to purchase it or not. At least that's what I'm assuming. Again, I could be wrong. Hey, what have we here? A newcomer, I suspect, based on your attire. Did Tickler send you over here to see old fancy pants then? She pretends to be mocking me in me profound sense of fashion. Truth is, she's got a thing for me. One of these days, she'll confess to it. Question for you is, what'll you do if this all comes crashing down? You'd better know how to survive on your own. Of course you can. But I say a good warrior's got to test themselves every day. Maybe even venture out alone into the wilds of Eternum. Exactly, see? That's why I'd ask a favor of you. Collecting fine wolf fur for a blanket. So maybe you set up camp out there and do some hunting for good old fancy pants. What do you say? Sounds like I'm going to be hunting some wolves. different let me also real quick open this See what's going on here. Go ahead and get these wool or wolf pelts for old fancy pants himself. Maybe uh, also we'll throw the warhammer over there. Chop this turkey up. Oh, jive turkey ass. Now, the question is, does, do trees allow you, oh, wow. Interesting. And he's definitely chopping through them fucking trees, man. Can I skin you?
a cursed sheep, eh? Churro sheep, excuse me. Big ass axe. I love it. Okay. Time to go to the midnight den, huh? Hell. That was rather rude there, Mr. Wolf. Interesting. Intriguing. Where the fuck is this at? Run on the outside, I guess. It makes a little bit more sense than to try to run back through the city, which will more than likely get lost. Busted up houses out here, eh?
pretty far away away for this fucking wolf belt for this guy. I would imagine that this is probably either the end of Tutorial Island, quote, when that's quote unquote Tutorial Island. I mean, obviously, it's not a specific Tutorial Island that you are on, but I would imagine this is probably just part of the tutorial itself. Looks like somebody's mining something up there. What are you? Big ass fucking stone tower. Well, besides that. Norma. Landmark. Level 20. Well, we're definitely not level 20, but... Definitely start fucking some of these wolves up. Fuck yeah. Come here, Mr. Wolf. Not quite sure what that uh, campfire off in the background is. I'm assuming that's the one we set down, but why it has the exclamation point on top of it, I have no clue. That's just a gray wolf. Not as enticing. Wrong kind of wolf. Back over this way. Any more woofy woofs anywhere? There's one. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we didn't get the midnight wolf. Or we didn't get the fine fur from the wolf this time. That's all right. There's going to be plenty more of them laying around here. Lying in Hoyt. There's one right there. Ouch. Got me good. There it is. All right. Let's get back up on the road, shall we? This way we go. Back over to Mr. Dip, we, dip, what? What? Hey. Um. Did I not get the last fine fur? That's not very nice. Well, then come here, wolf. I'm in need of some fucking hide. Thank you. There it is. I'm gonna hatch it anyway. Which how, oh shit, now I'm going the wrong fucking way. I do wish there was a fucking run. This walk thing that they do, this little trot. It's fucking slow.
A little staircase. A little sneaky, sneaky staircase. What's this go to? I would have never seen that had I not been paying attention. Oh, look at that. Damn near seems like you walk up the steps faster than you do actually walking. Fucking gizmo. I was making noise. Oh, who's strutting around all fancy like? <laughs> I suspect you got some wolf fur in your pack too. Yes, yes. This will do nicely. Cool. You remind me that sometimes I need a break from settlement life. Nothing like running through the woods with nothing but your pants on, you know? But for today, that may not be an option for either of us. Sergeant Major Magistrate Clark wants you to report for duty, soldier. Ignore him if you want. I won't snitch. Whoever the fuck that is. Oh, the Clark. Okay, never mind. He just said a bunch of extra shit. It's just this guy. So, Ardwell was able to track you down? Excellent. We have a long way to go to strengthen the settlement's defenses. You've undoubtedly seen the factions in town. The Marauders, the Syndicate, and the Covenant. Like or not, they are best equipped to defend Everform. Indeed, I've come to realize there are many capable, courageous soldiers in all three factions. And recently, these groups have become even more influential around here. We should. If we are going to defend this place against corruption, their role will be critical. I suggest you speak to representatives from each faction and decide with which you would like to enlist. Huh. Interesting. I guess we have to. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so that will wrap up the first episode for New World, the official release. And when we come back, we'll go ahead and decide which faction we want to choose. I can't remember which one we went to last time. I'm pretty sure it was the Marauder, which is 9 out of the 10, which one I'll probably go to again. <sighs> Excuse me, pretty much because if not remember Syndicate and Covenant, both were like Magi type shit. And not that I have anything against that, it's just not the way I play personally, so that's why I went with Marauder, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of upset you can't, like, just not choose a faction. It kind of seems like you're forced to. But, uh, yeah, in any event, guys, I will see you all next time. Hope you all liked and enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.